Hello and welcome, it's Dr. Red Frizzle here today and today I'm going to be talking to you about a little bit about vitamin B8, otherwise known as Inetzol. Okay, so Inetzol, I'll write that up for you first, so B8 or Inetzol. Now, as we've already learned with it, with the B type vitamins, they're water soluble, which means you n would normally need to consume them in your diet. Because they're water soluble, it means you excrete them in your urine. So you would normally need to consume them every day. But with Inetzol, um, you actually don't because the bacteria inside your body can synthesize it. So I'll, I'll give you a bit of a note there. So bacteria in body can, I'm going to write make, synthesize would be a, be a better word. Um, bacteria in body can make it. Okay, so... Well, we know that the bacteria in the body can make it. What else do we know about it? Well, um, it's got a number of different functions, one of which is preventing some, is actually preventing fatty acid buildup. And where does it prevent this fatty acid buildup? Well, it primarily prevents fatty acid buildup in organs such as the liver and the heart. Um, Something else you should know about it is that it also promotes healthy hair growth. Um, a lot of these, these other vit type vitamin types of vitamin B, sorry, um, do actually promote healthy hair growth. Um, and I'll go through a few of the deficiency symptoms with you now. Okay, so anxiety is one of the deficiency sim symptoms. Anxiety. It's quite awkward to write actually. Anxiety. Okay, anxiety um, can also lead to depression as well really need to work on my handwriting, it's dreadful, but there you go. Okay, so anxiety and depression. Um, the other thing you need to know about this is, is that it, it can also be used to, as a precursor to phospholipids. So you're probably thinking, well, what actually is a precursor? Well, a precursor is a molecule that can give rise to another molecule. We'll start sort of, we'll, we'll start going over those like a bit more in subsequent videos to this one. Um, for the purposes of this video, you just need to know that a precursor actually gives rise to other to a particular other molecule. Now, a precursor in this case, in this instance, because this is a precursor to phospholipids, um, you've probably come across that word before but don't know where from. Well, phospholipids are molecules which are used in the phospholipid bilayer, um, which is actually what makes up your cell membranes of pretty much any cell in your body. Um, you obviously ha have your hydro hydrophilic heads um, and hydrophobic tails. Hydrophobic tails because they're stuck inside the cell membrane to keep out of the water. Hydrophobic obviously a phobia means you don't like it. Okay, so uh, what is the recommended daily amount of this you're probably wondering because I've sort of discussed that in my previous videos on vitamins. Um, the recommended daily amount of this you don't really need to know. There is not a particular amount because as I've said before it can be synth synthesized in your body by bacteria. You don't actually have a particular amount to have. If you have slightly too much you can get side effects such as diarrhea. So this I might title this overconsumption. So overconsumption can lead to things like diarrhea, but there isn't actually many issues that this can give rise to. Just because your body synthesizes it, you're going to make a lot of it anyway it's not too much of a problem. And another important function of this that I haven't actually mentioned yet is it actually assists the absorption of other vitamins such as thiamine or vitamin A. Vitamin A, um, I have actually made specific videos on thiamine which is vitamin B1 and vitamin A which is which I've always known as retinol and you can access those videos from my channel so if you want to find out more look at those videos. Um, okay, so, so this actually help assist in the absorption of those, those vitamins from the body um, what I, what I might want to mention in this video actually as well, I've mentioned this before by the way, A, D, E and K are fat soluble and uh, B and C and B, they're sometimes referred to as complex vitamins, B complex, because there's so many different types. Uh, as, as, as the title suggests, this is in its always vitamin B8, which means that there must be loads and loads of different types of vitamin B. Um, I'm actually going to make some videos sort of all the way up to vitamin B11 almost. Okay, so, so, so the point is there's lots of types of vitamin B and C, and these are the water-soluble ones. 
um, which you would normally need to eat in your diet. As I've said with this one, it's a bit of an exception because it's synthesized from the bacteria in your body. A, D, E and K being fat soluble, that means that you don't actually need to consume them on such a regular basis as you do of vitamin B and C. Um, and the other thing that that suggests is that it's actually stored in your fat because it's fat soluble it means it can be sort of stored in, in your fat so so like under the skin is one of the primary areas where fat can be stored it can be stored around organs as well um, but this actually helps prevent fatty acid build up so that's quite important for, for, for preventing things such as like heart attacks and stuff like that um, it doesn't actually uh, unless you actually consume loads of loads of fat in your diet this this vitamin doesn't cause um, it actually works as a preventative measure for actually getting these issues but if, if obviously you ate loads and loads of fats um, your body probably wouldn't be able to synthesize enough in itself to actually combat the the heart attack that the fats would would eventually actually lead to okay so so this vitamin um, is good for preventing um, a wide variety of different diseases and overconsumption of this vitamin is not a problem because it's synthesized in your body anyway so your body has plenty of it anyway and because it's synthesized that implies that, sorry, that your body can cope with large amounts of this particular vitamin okay so I, ho I, ho I've you, I hope you enjoy this video um, in the next video I'll be discussing with you um, folic acid which is otherwise known as, as vitamin B9 okay so see you then goodbye